Yes, yeah, it's, it's a lot of ways to go with this, right? Um, <clears throat> women aren't motivated to follow men. And there's plenty of reasons to that, right? Um, for one, they haven't received a proper example, right? When we start looking at the stats, we're talking about what 70, 80% of us are growing up in single parent households. So if you've never witnessed that dynamic, it'll be hard for you to emulate that dynamic, first of all, right? Um, Princella did make a great point with uh, men not being ready for leadership, right? It, there's definitely many of us who I do my best to work with men so they understand finances, so they understand masculinity and masculinity it, it, and knowing the difference between masculinity and trying to emulate it with hyper masculinity, which is not necessary, right? Um, being grounded spiritually, having your emotions under control and just being a man, right? And, and knowing what a man is supposed to be. And the main reason that many of us can't get the followership that we want is because we don't know how to lead and in any category right we we also as men have not witnessed that example so we we're trying to navigate this situation without any background we're starting from scratch right fortunately i've been able to obtain whatever i could and i try to pass that on that's why i jump in anytime i see a young man who needs help let me get your credit right um, let me get you, let me let me help you obtain this job. No, this is this is how you approach women in every aspect. Men, male improvement is important because we have to do better as a society. We're not doing well as a society. We're hurting. We are hurting. We're at the bottom of damn near anything. And it's because we don't have strong families. But we can't have strong families if we don't have a leader to lead that strong family. Right. And we can't say all that without saying that. Many of the women need work. We understand that you need to trust us, but you have to know what it is that you're looking for. You can't chase the wrong things. You can't jump on men that are just because, okay, he's a hot boy, or he looks a certain way, or because he has this type of money, right? All of those are cool, but that's not what's going to make you be able to raise a successful family, right? So until we can, as men, become better leaders, and women have to learn how to search for the correct type of man, right? Because she has to trust in your lead, in your leadership, period. If she doesn't trust in your leadership, she's f always going to have that fear that you will lead her off the cliff, right? That's why I do understand. I believe in gender roles. But when I say that, I try to make it easy for my wife to do everything, right? You have to. You pay, you pay the way. You make it so she can actually desire to rest in her femininity. She has to be comfortable with that. She has to trust you. She has to know that these bills are going to be paid no matter what. She has to know that you're there for her emotionally. She has to understand that you are the rock. You're stable. You got the family anchored down. She has to know that she doesn't have to second guess or undermine your advice when you're talking to the children because she know you got it. We have to instill that faith in them but it has to be earned it's not just going to come out of nowhere females won't respect you unless you earn it right but like i said we have some females who are absolutely not ready we have to look at the people who they are pushing forward right sukiyanas or sexy red these women are being pushed to the, to the forefront these are the examples that the algorithms push they don't even sell records but you see their faces every day no hip hop artist has a number one record this year, but you see them all day, every day as if they actually are relevant. These are the people who they want us to watch so we can continue to have weak families. And I'll end it there. All right, Chanel. We keep talking about leadership and we never talk about followership. I have been instructed that followership is not a real word, so we're just making it up for tonight. I did Google it, and it says it's a real word on Webster. Oh, you know, whoever said that in the chat, so, kiss my ass. Okay, followership <laughs> is a real word. I saw it on Webster, so I think it's a real word. Um, I, I totally agree with what Trev and Princella said. Um, I'd also like to add, I personally believe it is in a woman's nature to follow a strong man, especially her own husband. 
Um, it has a lot to do with trust. If that woman doesn't trust you, it's not naturally going to happen. Um, I wish that you know women were able to be better followers or at least black women. I have more experience with black women. I wish it were that way, but I do believe in our community, we have a lack of trust with one another as men and women and also as black persons and to black people. Like we're just not trustworthy of each other in general. So for interrelational, for, for relational purposes, I don't think the trust is going to even be there for the woman to follow. Also, I think someone else mentioned growing up, if our fathers aren't in the home, so how are we going to emulate what our mothers do if there's no man to, to submit to? So it's going to be very hard to just make up a scenario. Most of the time, at least for me, it was Disney. So I'm watching men bow down to women. For a long time, I thought that's how relationships were, that men were just going to buy me flowers all the time. And I was just going to be a princess forever, you know? So, you know, everything was screwed up in our childhood. So there's that. And then also, I believe that a lot of Black women are in a leadership role already. So when you're accustomed to being at the top, sometimes for her, it's very difficult to lean back and be submissive. I don't think that's a good thing. I'm not co-signing it, but I do believe that's what happens sometimes, whether you can't depend on your family or your father, so you have to take care of yourself by yourself, or you're a single parent, so you have to take on both parent parental roles on your own, or whatever the situation is, a lot of times you're so accustomed to being an individual well into adulthood, 30s, maybe 40s, that becoming that feminine, soft woman is very difficult for that woman. Like I said, I don't agree with that. I don't, I don't think it should be that way, but it is that way. All right. Curves, um, go ahead. You got it. All right. Um, uh, yeah, I definitely agree with Princella. She ate and really left no crumbs for me. But I'm going to just say that most men um, are not leaders. They're, they're just not. So they're, they're begging for things that they like you. Where, where are you leading us? Like a lot of men lead women to, to hell. Like you see where their lives are going. It's chaotic in itself. So now you're asking a woman to follow you. What are we following? So, and that other word, I can't even address that because it's not even a word I've ever heard of the, the followership. I don't, I don't know anything about that. I'm just speaking on the leadership. And I feel like if you're a leader, you don't have to ask for it. Um, and this is coming from someone who watched my father be a leader. He never had to beg my mother to, to, to follow him or to, to, to come after him. Like he was just the leader and he was structured and she, and she followed. It's not something you have to ask for. So if you're begging for it, it's because that's not you. Um, but that's all I have to say on it. 